Hello and welcome to Home with Sarah Jane. In today's video, I am sharing a homeschool supply haul and all of these items came from Amazon during Amazon's Prime Days. So if you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to two girls, ages 11 and 14. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by once again. I do really appreciate you. So I was specifically waiting for Amazon Prime Day to hit because <laughs> I wanted to see if any of their school supplies were going to be on sale. And I was pretty lucky to find um, a lot of the things that we do like to use during the homeschool year supply wise um, on the, you know, Prime Day deal stuff. So I did get some good prices on some of these items. Now, I want to start off with there's one, two, three, four, six, five, six. So there's six items that I actually ordered um, that aren't in yet. So I'll share those with you first and I'll just insert a picture so you can see what they look like. But the first item that I purchased, well, it's not really in any order. It's just this is the first item that's not in. Um, I picked up a six pack of black Pentel Intergel pens. These are primarily for me. I do like to color coordinate my kids during the school year um, and black is the color for the things that we do as a family. So I do need a lot of black uh, pens. The next thing I picked up was a book called Bjorn the Proud. Yeah, so this book here, this book I actually need for my daughter's history lesson, my younger daughter, the one going into sixth grade. Um, this actually goes along with her history course, so I needed a copy of this. This was not on sale. I just ordered it because I was placing a big order and I needed the book, so boom, there it is. Um, I also picked up a fluffy slime kit for my youngest daughter. This is just something to keep her busy, her hands moving, <laughs> uh, her busy hands going when I'm doing read out loud or something. She loves slime, so I picked up one of those. And then this, I also picked up Bug Bingo. This was not on sale, but I thought I had this, and apparently this is like one of the only ones I didn't have. So um, when I was putting together our homeschool nature cabinet downstairs, I was looking and looking for this bug bingo and I was asking my kids, hey, did you take bug bingo? And they were like, um, we don't have bug bingo. And I was like, oh, okay. So I did pick up bug bingo. Um, I did want this one a lot, like really, really bad because uh, my youngest daughter and I are gonna be studying arthropods and things like that this um, upcoming homeschool year. So this will be a lot of fun. Um, what else? So. Oh, I also picked up a 12 pack of Sharpies, you know, just for whenever I need a Sharpie, <laughs> but I picked up a 12 pack of black Sharpies. And the last thing that I picked up that um, did not come in yet, I picked up two of these actually. It is um, two 12 packs of Bic Inten Intensity dry erase markers. Now I purposely picked up two of these because I do like to give my kids each their own pack and then you know everybody has all the colors and then they don't touch mine because <laughs> I do already have a pack for me um but yeah so then everybody has their dry erase markers and nobody's you know I wanted the purple one I wanted the green one I wanted the red one everybody has their own so <laughs> there's that now let's jump into the things that did already come in some of these things I'm really excited for and one of those things that I'm really excited for is actually this clock I know that this sounds silly but if you look at this um it is like a learning clock so it's a real clock that you put on the wall but it has like the breakdown let me see if I could show it but it has like the breakdown of the minutes and everything and then like on the hands it says like hours and minutes and and um and all of that I, I mean I'm, I'm doing a bad job explaining it but I think that this looks amazing my kids a long time ago learned how to you know read a clock but it's not something that I actually um kept up with too much so I could feel like we're slipping a little bit so I did pick this up just to make things easier and again my kids are older so my youngest daughter she is 11 years old going into the sixth grade my oldest daughter is in ninth grade or is about to be in ninth grade and I'm still using things like just just to you know refresh their memory so I did pick this one up I love how colorful it is. I love that it has all the numbers and it tells you what everything is. I just really love it. I think it's it's I think it's great. And I know that this is kind of a dying art, but I still want them to learn how to read a clock. So long way to say I love this. OK, the next thing I picked up is this bug amber dig kit. Again, I'm going to be studying um, arthropods and bugs and insects and all of that kind of stuff with my youngest daughter. She loves this kind of stuff, so I picked up one of these while it was on sale. 
And then this next one is a butterfly growing kit. This is a National Geographic um, little kit, you know, to grow, grow, I guess, to watch your butterflies grow. Um, I did pick this one up. We did this a long time ago, like probably like five years ago. No joke. <laughs> um it's been a long time so my daughter was telling me she'd really like to do this again perfect time because we're going to be studying bugs insects arthropods all of that this year so a butterfly kit and i think this is just one of those one i almost hit myself in the face um i think this is just one of those ones that you buy the kit and then you just order the caterpillars um online i'm thinking that's what it is i didn't really look too much into it but it looks fun okay Believe it or not, this is the only other book, I believe, like reading book that I ordered. <laughs> and it's called Once Upon a Time, The Way America Was. Now, this book my daughter actually needed, my youngest daughter actually needed for her history program this year. So that's why I picked this one up. This one was not on sale. But again, because I was doing such a large Amazon haul, I decided to just throw it in. Um, now, it's just a reader. It's just going to be her history reader um, or one of them this year. I've never read it before, but it was on the reading list, so I picked it up. Okay, next thing, I picked up a stapler. Now, this one, let me show you if I could open it. Um, this one is actually for my oldest daughter. My youngest daughter didn't really need one, but my oldest daughter, if you watch some of my past haul videos for this coming school year, um, my kids' colors are lavender and teal or light purple and teal. So my oldest daughter got this light purple stapler and it did come with some staples. So now she has her own. I honestly, I should have ordered me another one because I don't like only having one stapler <laughs> when there's two levels to my house. So it would have been smart for me to order a second stapler. <laughs> okay, well, this isn't really too much like homeschool supply, but I did pick up, I'm actually using it right now. I did pick up a new memory card for my camera. This was on sale. It was like 60% off or something like that when I bought it. But yeah, just a memory card for my camera. Okay, now my kids love magnetic bookmarks. My daughter picked out a couple. Um, my oldest daughter picked out two packs. My youngest daughter only wanted one. But my oldest daughter picked out these Naruto magnetic book clips or bookmarks. And then my oldest also picked out these, I can't remember the name of this anime. It's another like show that she watches. I want to say it's, what is it? Why am I drawing a blank? I'm drawing a complete blank, but yeah, it's that one. And then my youngest daughter picked out another version of that same anime um, book, magnetic bookmarks as well. Why am I drawing such a blank to what this show is called? I cannot remember and it's not on here. Yeah, <laughs> but it's from my kids are super into anime right now. And this is from one of the shows that they watch. So yeah, they got some magnetic bookmarks. Okay, now what do I have? Oh, I ordered a ton of stickers. Now, um, oh, that's one more thing that didn't come in. I did at the last minute order some Naruto stickers. I'll pop in a picture of that but I ordered some Naruto stickers for my oldest daughter and then I also picked up some more like anime stickers that same anime that I can't remember the name it's not one that I've watched before usually I'll watch shows with my kids but this is one that they're actually watching with my younger brother so I don't remember the name of it um and then I also picked up some dragon stickers but these dragon stickers are from Wings of Fire it's a book series out there that my youngest daughter really likes so I did pick up a pack of those I also picked up a pack of reptile stickers for my youngest daughter and some dinosaur stickers as well now the reason why I buy so many stickers is because at the on the first day of school my kids will actually decorate their notebooks for school it's kind of like a tradition that we do every year so they like to um, have you know stickers that they like that they could decorate all their notebooks with and things like that so that's why there are so many stickers oh I missed one another like set of anime stickers as well for my kids and I will link everything that I can below if you're interested in anything Okay, next up, <laughs> know this, we do order a lot of different types of pens um, and art supplies. So you're going to see a lot of that here. Um, first up, we have two of these Arteza um, 
what are these called? These are like outline pens, but they're just black pens that you use to outline your drawings in. These are both nine packs. They were on sale when I purchased them. And my kids go through these like crazy. Um, over the past year, they have been really into sketching and drawing. Um, so my kids, I mean, I think they've already gone through two of the five packs um, that I had purchased them over, over the last few months. So I, I did purchase some more for them for their drawing and art. Our focus this year for, uh, for, by the way, I said for, our, our focus this year for our like morning basket art or our Friday art is actually watercolor and nature. So I did pick up some of these watercolor postcards. Um, I think that these are fantastic. You get to actually do your own art on these, your, you know, your own watercolor, but then you can actually mail them out as postcards to your friends and family. My kids love these. We've used them in the past, um, but this year I do want to focus on um, getting some postcards made as well so we can send them out to, to friends. Okay, I bought some fabric glue. I don't know why I bought this. I know my kids asked for fabric glue, but I don't know why they needed fabric glue. But okay, <laughs> fabric glue. Okay, I did pick up some, um, what are these called? Mechanical pencils. There we go. <laughs> we were completely out of pencils. So I picked up these Bic reusable um, mechanical pencils. These are the extra strong break resistant lead. We've never used this specific kind before, but I'm hoping <laughs> maybe we won't go through as much lead with these ones. I did only order one pack of 24 and my kids are just going to split them. I only picked up one of these this year. Usually I buy three, but my kids were more into different types of mechanical pencils this year than, you know, erasable pens. But this is a pack of Friction Fine Line Erasable Pens. These are usually like what I'll use in my planner and I will just, like I said, color coordinate my kid to a certain color. Um, that's kind of changing a little bit this year. I'm using different pens and I'll show you those in a minute. Uh, but yeah, I still picked one up just in case those other pens don't work out for me because I am a little bit of a pen snob. Um, I really enjoy a good pen. Okay, I picked up two of these outline markers. Now with these ones, the when you use these markers, it's actually silver on the inside and then the outline is in the, you know, these different bright colors up here. I hope that makes sense. But it's an outline marker. So when you write with it, like I was saying, it looks silver on the inside. This is kind of like the example. And then there's a color on the outside. So my kids have never really used these before. I did pick up two packs. But again, my kids love different pens and markers. And when they seen these, um, they were like, oh yeah, I wanna try them. So I did pick up two of these. Okay, now my youngest daughter, she asked for smensels, which are like pencils that smell. <laughs> <laughs> like something good, you know, um, I had I had purchased some smensels and put them in I think they're December boxes last year and they were like Christmas scents, So like gingerbread and you know pine or something like that and my youngest daughter really really liked them So she asked for more smensels this year, but she wanted me to see if they had any mechanical smensels and guess what they did so I picked up these unicorn scented smensels um, Yeah these are cute. I'm not even showing you. I'm over here looking at them. But I thought that these were super cute. They have little unicorns on them and they're just mechanical pencils. Um, I don't know what they smell like though. It says unicorn scented, but I know it's not going to smell like a unicorn. <laughs> I mean, oh, here we go. So it looks like it's like fruit scented. Um, so it looks like maybe one is like apple, strawberry, grapes, lemon. And then there's one that looks like a cupcake and ice cream and cotton candy. So she'll enjoy these. I think that these are going to be fun. And again, they're mechanical pencils, which is what she likes. So there's that. I also picked up one pack of these acrylic markers. Sometimes my kids like to do um, like art on like wooden birdhouses or they'll do like rock painting and they'll use these acrylic pens. Now this is 24 different colors and it has two different um, pen tips. I don't know if you could see that, but like one of them is like rounded and then the other one is like a brush tip. Yeah, so they call it brush and dot. But yeah, my kids will like this. They used them all up last year. I've never used this brand before, but this is the one that was on sale and it had decent reviews. So I got one of these. 
My kids also asked for glitter markers. So I picked up two packs of glitter markers. We have used these before. My kids really, really enjoy them. Um, yeah, I mean, how many colors are in here? There's 18 different colors in here and they have what's called a bullet tip. So I think it's like that like rounded tip. Let me show you. It might just be easier. But yeah, so you get all of these colors and there's the tip of the pen. It's like a marker, but my kids really, really like these. So I picked them each up a set. Now for the pens <laughs> that I really, really like are more of those Pentel inner gel pens, but they are the um, 14 different colors. I actually picked up three packs of these, one for each of us. My kids were more interested in pens that didn't erase. Um, so I picked them up these ones. These are probably more than what they need but it has 14 different colors my daughter was really my oldest was really interested in trying to use this yellow one she's really into yellow and purple right now my youngest really likes teal and that's right over here so I just think that they're both gonna love this but yeah so I picked up three I'm trying to not get the glare I picked up three of these Pentel inner gel um true color pen sets yeah, but these are the ones that I'm going to be using for planning. They do not erase, so wish me luck. See if I like them. Okay, now this was just something fun that I picked up. This is a pack of rainbow rainbow pencils that are pre-sharpened. Um, I know you can't really see them, but let me take some out so you can see what I'm talking about. These just look like fun. It looks like something that my kids would enjoy. But if you look, the tips are all different colors. So when they write, it's, you know, in rainbow. Yeah, it just looked fun. So I picked them up. <laughs> Wasn't really a necessity, but I mean, fun is a necessity though to me. So they, I, there was purpose there. Okay, next up, again, my kids are doing a lot of sketching, but my oldest daughter is also going to be doing sketching along with her language arts this year. I'm um, like, it's intertwined woven in to her um, ninth grade language arts. So I did pick up two of these Amazon basic sketching packs. I got one for each of them just in case my youngest daughter wanted one, but it comes with pretty much everything that she's going to be needing um, according to the um, requirements for her language arts. So I thought that she would like this one. They were on sale. And again, because we're going to be doing watercolor, a lot of the time we start off our watercolor with sketching. So I thought that these would be perfect. And um, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but I actually decided to do the watercolor projects with my kids. So I did get me a few um, watercolor things as well. Oh, I'm probably going to spill this. OK, so next up, I bought some acrylic markers. Now, I bought two packs of these. Um, there's 121 different colors in here, and these are alcohol-based markers. So, I mean, if you're getting them for younger kids, just be very careful because they do not erase, and they do have a, like, smell to them. Like, they, they, you do want to open a window when you use these markers um, because they are alcohol-based, so heavy scented. But let me kind of show you the different colors. I'm going to try and do this without spilling them. My kids um, are old enough to handle like these more expensive art supplies. But yeah, so there's 121 different colors in here and they're dual tipped. So um, one side is like this fine side. And then the other one is this broad side. But yeah, my kids really, really enjoy these. This is actually the second set that they're going to be getting. I bought them um, each a pack of these last year and they loved them. But they're just now starting to dry, not, not dry up, but like run out um, because they use them so much that I thought this would be a good time. Normally, I give my kids like a back to school gift every year. And this year, I think it's pretty much all going to be like fun school supplies um, so yeah, that's why I bought so many different, you know, markers and, and things like that. Okay, next up, we have twistable colored pencils. This is a 50 pack. Now my kids do have, um, another, like, I think it's Arteza's set of colored pencils that are really, really nice, um, that they use for their art. These are primarily like 
if we're going to go out back or if we're going to go on a nature walk and we want to take some supplies with us to, you know, do some drawings or something, they might take something like this. This is more like for, you know, everyday use, not so much for like their fancy art, you know. Um, so you'll see that I only bought a couple of you know, um, like Crayola items, because with my kids being older again, uh, they don't really use these as much as they're like fancier <laughs> art supplies. Not that there's anything wrong with Crayola. I love Crayola. Uh, but yeah, so I got this 50 pack. And then I also picked up a 50 pack of twistable crayons. This was actually really questionable this year. <laughs> I had to ask my kids, are you still using crayons or not? And my youngest daughter said, mom, I still like to use crayons sometimes. So I did only pick up um, one of these, you know, 50 pack of twistable crayons. I used to buy like three or four, sometimes five or six in a year. And now we're down to only <laughs> having to buy one. Okay. I also purchased us, purchased us, three of these watercolor sets. Again, watercolor is going to be our, fo uh, our focus for art on Fridays in our morning basket. So I did purchase three of these, one for each of us. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. I totally lost my train of thought. But yeah, so I did pick up three of these. Uh, they were actually really good price. I think I only paid like six dollars per per tray. So I thought that was pretty good. My oldest daughter requested rectangular <laughs> erasers. So that is what she got. I got her a pack of these um, 12 erasers. Yeah, she just needs them for her sketching and art. I don't know why they had to be rectangular, but that's what she requested. So that's what I purchased. Okay, we're almost done. We're getting down to the end. Okay, so I did pick up some new watercolor and paint brushes. Um, my, again, my oldest daughter is uh, purple this year or lavender. This is a two pack of watercolor brushes that she'll be using. I like to have more than one in case, you know, one of them gets messed up. Or again, if we go outside or whatever and she needs to take her brushes, she has a set that she could pack in her bag and a set that we can leave at the house just in case. So I got her these lavender ones. And then I got these teal, almost kind of like minty green ones for my youngest daughter. And then for our nature cabinet, I did pick up, um, because these are more like, if you look, these are more like flathead brushes and things like that. But I did pick up two packs of these rounded watercolor brushes as well. These are the ones that are going to be in our watercolor, not our watercolor, what is it called? These are the ones that are going to be in our nature cabinet downstairs. But I did pick up two of these. Again, I like to make sure that we have supplies for when we're home and supplies for when we go out. Okay, now we're down to the last few items. I didn't really order too much um, like acrylic paint or, you know, just like regular paint for painting, but I did pick up one of these oil and acrylic pads um, just in case. Again, we're going to be focusing more on watercolor and sketching this year, but Sometimes my kids like to pop out regular paint and paint. So I did pick up one of these um, just in case. And then I bought so many watercolor notepads this year. These are the ones I bought on Amazon. I am actually just waiting on a few items to come in so I could share another homeschool haul with you. And um, I bought more watercolor notebooks there too. So <laughs> I have watercolor notebooks coming out my ears. But I bought two of these um, watercolor pads for my kids. Again, I have, <laughs> I have like three or four more coming in. But yeah, so I did purchase these. But again, we are going to be doing watercolor all the time. And my youngest daughter in her language arts, the art focus for her fifth, not her fifth grade year, her art focus for her language arts this year is watercolor. So she is going to be using one pad um, of watercolor paper for her language arts and then one pad for um, her Friday like watercolor study with with me as a group as a family so she did need actually more than one pad so I kind of feel like I'm justifying purchasing so many watercolor pads um, and then the last two items that I purchased were finally there the last two items that I purchased are actually two of these tracing paper pads um, my kids love to trace things. They also use tracing paper in their language arts when the, it's like part of their geography that's intertwined into their language arts. So like trace certain countries and, and things like that. So um, I did pick up two of these, one for each of them. And plus they do use it in their everyday like fun art as well. So that, yes, 
that is everything that I picked up um, during Prime Day on Amazon for our homeschool. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. Thank you so much for stopping by. You have a great day. Bye.